Thomas Connor, the first to get it for Offley. This is Porrick Dunn for Offley. John Guinan for Offley, but uh, knocks it down to Shawnee Walsh. Shawnee held there as he was going to kick that ball, so there's the free for Kerry. Tommy Doyle going to take it. Palmer Liston goes up and gets. Nice shoulder there, but uh, in the back, I'm afraid, Jer. So there's a free out for Offley. Jer Power just uh, a little bit over anxious there, and Martin Furlong to take the free from his own, just outside his own 13 meter line. What breeze there is blowing gently across the field, not really favouring anybody. Back to Jack O'Shea. Liam Connor and the bomber going for it together. John Egan comes nipping in. Back now to Mikey Sheehy. And it is gone. No, the referee has awarded a free out to Offley anyway. He's down uh, just at the 13-meter line, awarding a free out to Offley as that ball came across the goal. There's a bit of a wandering job going on up here as Brendan Lowry is wandering all over the place. There's also been a switch in the centre of the field. I'll tell you about that in a moment as uh, Jack O'Shea gets the ball down, but this is Pat Fitzgerald. Up now towards Johnny Mooney. And Johnny letting it go in behind him and trying to get back there. Paddy Lynch is back there and the referee is awarded a free. Well, the referee went up signalling that there was a free and the umpire signalled there was a 45 and I think it is a free. Free out for Kerry. And it's to be taken over on the far side of the field by Paddy O'Shea. Good kick through the centre. Jerry Carroll. Trying to sell dummies there. Ken Canelli won't buy. Ball very near the end line there, the sideline there, but Captain Play, a lovely shot across the goal mouth. Held in there by John O'Keefe. Uh, Jack O'Shea, I should say. And Jacko comes thundering out. And the ball going way down towards uh, the offly goal, but back there is Mick Lowry. His pass across now to Mick Fitzgerald. And that uh, clearance out over the sideline, and there's a line ball for Kerry. To be taken just outside the 45-meter line, Paddy O'Shea. Palmer Liston, Sean Lowry is in there, he got a knock, but he's still coming up the field. Drawn on in desperation there by Jack O'Shea, and the ball gone over the line. No score so far. Tomas Connor is playing on Jack O'Shea, and there are the two of them there. That's been a switch around of positions in the centre of the field. Richie Connor with the ball now for Offley. Back to Tomas Connor. Matt Connor in there, but no, nicely fisted out by Jono. Ball out to the wing now to Brendan Lowry. No, 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 no. The referee has gone up and has awarded a free out for Kerry. The ball gone over the bar, but uh, the referee had called back the play. The whistle gone before the ball went over the bar. And the ball back in the crowd behind the goal now, and they don't look as if they're going to put it back. Well, there's plenty of flag waving going on back there, but no sign of a football. There's one up at the other end of the field, which is now about to be delivered. Checo looking a little bit puffed there. And the ball now coming down for this free out. Charlie Nelligan with the free, just outside the 20-meter line. Liam Currums with it and carrying it. Still Liam Currums. 
A shot that's high, and this one is over the bar. The first score of the game. Lane Currums, who started in his own backyard, worked the way up with a toe to hand up the field and made no mistake whatsoever, putting Offley into the lead. And here it is. Here comes Liam. Coming all the way up the field, Liam, who played in the hurling final and the football final last year, doing his stuff and putting that one over after almost six minutes of play. One point to no score in favour of Offley. Tomas Connor up the field. Now it's Tommy Doyle. Perry coming back now into the attack. Ball comes to Tom Spillane, up to Owen Liston. Back out now to Mikey Sheehy. Sheehy's shot across the goal and it's gone wide. And so awfully lead by that uh, one point to no score, scored by Liam Currums, who indeed emulated Beefy Kennedy by playing in the two finals last year, hurling and football. And indeed, mention of Beefy, here's wishing him well. Kick out to this side of the field, Tomas Connor. Ball grabbed by Tim Kennelly up to Owen Liston on the 45 meter line. A dangerous dropping ball that John Egan, if he could get into it, could do trouble with, but uh, he doesn't get to it. It's Mick Lowry. And I notice Matt Connor has moved outfield. Ball to Gerald Keefe. Tom Spillane shaking off his opposite number. It's high, 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 and it's over the bar. The equaliser, Tom Spillane, breaking away. The young man of the Spillane family, breaking away, taking his shot that was oh so high and oh so straight. Perry, one point, awfully one point. Almost eight minutes gone in this first half. Martin Furlong with those knees well bandaged. with the kick out. <laughs> Perry trying to get up the field, but uh, Ogie beaten this time. Johnny Mooney coming inside. Takes a lobber in towards the goal back, but Charlie Nelligan isn't fooled by those kind of dropping balls, and it's out to 48 inch. No dilly dallying back in the Kerry defence. They're getting rid of that ball, and here's Jack Power. Jack Power being chased by Liam Curran. Jack Power up to Owen Liston. Liston out to the wing to John Egan. Egan's shot is high. Egan's shot is good. And it's two points apiece as John Egan goes across from the left wing to pick up the ball on the far side. Score is two points to one. Kerry two points. And awfully one. Two points to one. Here it is again. And John Egan's kick over the bar, no doubt whatsoever. Two points to one in favour of Kerry after about nine minutes of play. Martin Farlong's kick to the far side of the field. And it's gone out over the sideline, line ball on the halfway line. Linesman Tom Furlong signalling the ball to be taken by Paddy O'Shea. And most unusual for Pawdy, that one off his boot and out over the line without anybody touching it. Line ball now for Offley. And the line ball to be taken by Mick Fitzgerald. And into the centre of the field, starting a movement now for Kerry. Jack O'Shea into a wide open space. Bill now by Mick Lowry and John Egan. Lowry to Lowry and to Sean. Over to Pat Fitzgerald. And the referee blows his whistle and awards a free to Offley while Bomber Liston away in the tussle for the ball just seconds previously seemed to have gotten a knock on the side of the head. And he's wagging his finger at uh, one of the Offley men. Anyway, Martin Furlong takes the kick. Down now to Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle handing off his man, getting the ball, however, blocked down, and it's Richie Connor now. Richie up to an open space where Matt Connor has come out. Matt. Oh, nicely done by John O'Keefe. 
John o very nicely blocking down that ball. The play going on, the referee calling it back, and there is a free for Kerry. Lovely piece of blocking there by John O'Keefe. Paddy Lynch to take it. And this is Paddy done with the ball now. Tried to get his way through a Kerry man, a difficult thing to do, but he succeeded. Richie Connor. Still Richie. And a tip back to Matt Connor, a high one, and Matt has sent it wide. And the score remains, Kerry, two points, awfully one. Matt Connor, who's been playing sometimes a roving full forward game and more times in around the goal. That one out the field, but the shot was wide. Charlie Nelligan. Ball knocked down there. Richie Connor back to Pat Fitzgerald. They're trying lobbing balls in here, and Johnny Mooney trying to get to the ball. Can't quite do so. Tim Canelli does. This is Porrick done. Johnny Mooney. Out now to Pat Fitzgerald running up for the ball. Fitzgerald is shot to Fitzgerald, a lovely point. Oh, a lovely point from a very nicely placed pass and Pat from the defence running up and sending that one over and now the sides are level awfully two points carry two points and watch this now nice pass out there and here comes Fitzgerald his shot and his point two points apiece Dunn doesn't quite hold it, but Sean Lowry does. Two for Morse Connor. Johnny Mooney misjudged that one. You could see the misjudgment from here. Jack O'Shea. John Egan running for it up here with Michael Lowry. And John Egan's got it. And the ball kicked out defensively there. And a line ball for the Kerry men. Kerryman appealing for a free there, but uh, I think John dived rather well. Anyway, the referee wasn't impressed. And the Jack O'Shea line ball goes in, but fisted out to the far side. Pardick Dunn gone down for it. And uh, he sidestepped the tackle, but the referee still didn't like the tackle. And in fact, if Pardick had got it, he wouldn't have liked it either. Free out for Offley to be taken just inside the 20 meter line. Ball brought down and taken away from Paddy O'Shea, and there is a free to carry. Just inside the carry 45 meter line, and Paddy, the man from Dingle, standing back now to take the kick. John Lowry kept from going too far by Paulick Dunn. Back to Lean Collins. And Johnny Mooney doesn't get to that one either because Paulie Lynch does. But there's Johnny. Here's Johnny with the ball now. He's holding on to it rather long, but the referee lets the play go on. And eventually Tim Kennelly roots it up the field. Kicked over to this side. Pat Fitzgerald. Tomas Connor. And a mauling kind of an effort there, but Jack O'Shea back to help the defence as ever. Liston doesn't get this one, and Pat Fitzgerald does. Out now to Liam Collins for Offley. Offley playing a lot of short passing. Richie Connor getting to the ball. for Offley and this one just outside the 20 meter line Matt Connor to take it and over the bar and so after 15 minutes 
of play. Matt Connor puts Offley into the lead. Offley three points to Kerry's two. Matt, who's been the chief scorer for Offley, got 27 points in the championship up to now, has been well on the mark. A chipped kick to the far side of the field. Liam Curran's getting higher than Joe Power, but out over the sideline. Line ball for Paddy O'Shea. Just on the 45-metre line, that's the Kerry 45-metre. Owen Liston. And here's Jack O'Shea coming through. A deft touch that didn't quite come off. Tomas Connor. And Jerry Carroll coming in now. Out to Pat Fitzgerald. Is Pat going to do another solo to attack? No, he sends the ball up the field. And off Johnny Mooney's knee, that was, I think, John Guinan. A shot that goes hoppity over the line and wide. Well, Johnny Mooney coming out for that one, but uh, it went off his knee and came out. And Big Tim, centre-half back, the star of last year's All-Ireland final, and his opposite number, Richie Connor. And Charlie, Charlie Nelligan. And Jack O'Shea with it. Being chased by Tomas Connor. Jack O'Shea. And the referee awards a free to Kerry, just outside the awfully 45 metre line. And it will be taken by Tom Doyle. Curling in the right direction to Bomber Liston. Liston back out now to John Egan and John Egan over the bar. And now it is Kerry, three points, awfully three points. And John Egan, the scorer of two of those three points. The captain, of course, of the team.